Chapter Three, Quadratic Equation in One Unknown, Part Seven. In this video, I would like to introduce how to form a quadratic equation from the given word. That means if I want to find the quadratic equations and the word is equal to seven and three, how can we form it? Uh, in the previous video. I have already introduced the relation between the coefficients and the words. If the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1, I know if alpha and beta are the word of this quadratic equations, I know the sum of what is equal to the negative coefficient of x over 1, so it's negative b. And alpha times beta is equal to c over a, that means c over 1. So we can make good use of this relationship. First of all, the sum of wood of the required equations is equal to 10. And the part of wood. of the required equation is equal to 21 as I know sum of what is equal to negative coefficient of x so the required equations is equal to x squared minus sum of what plus x plus port of wood. You can pause the video and think about how can we use the previous uh, the above idea to find the uh, form a quadratic equations with wood negative seven and two. Let's check the answer together. The sum of wood of the required equation is equal to negative 7 times a plus 2 is equal to negative 5. The part of wood of the required equation is equal to negative, two, negative 7 times 2 is equal to negative 14. So the required equations, x, oh sorry, x squared. x squared minus sum of wood, x plus part of wood is equal to 0. I want to remind you. There are three common mistakes. The first one is, uh, you do not remember uh, this part is negative. x squared minus sum of wood. And this x is also missing. Sometimes you will miss equals zero. So remember this three part, okay? You need to, and after that you can simplify it. Let's see another example. Page 16. If Alpha and beta are the root of these equations. Find and form a quadratic equation with root. It's not a, and a, we do not have the exact values, but which is equal to alpha plus 2 and beta plus 2. I mentioned before, if you see this sentence, most probably you, you need to use sum of what part of what. So I will write down alpha plus beta is equal to negative, negative 5 over 3, 5 over 3. Alpha times beta is equal to negative 9 over 3 is equal to negative 3. So, same idea. The sum of the sum of what of the required equation is equal to, this is the root of the required equations, alpha plus 2 plus beta plus 2. So alpha plus beta plus 4, what is alpha plus beta? It's 5 over 3 plus 4, so 17 over 3. What is the product of what? Of the required equations. It's alpha plus 2 times beta plus 2. Expand it, alpha beta plus 2, alpha plus 2 beta plus 4. 
So take out two. Which is equal to negative three plus ten over three, and then plus four. So it's thirteen over three. After finding the sum of food and part of food, so they require the equations. X squared, remember minus the sum of food of the required equations. X plus part of wood is zero to zero. You may do four of x like 20. Remember, pause the video and do it by yourself and check the answer after you finish. Alpha plus beta is equal to negative 5 over 3. Alpha times beta is equal to 1 over 3. The sum of one of the quadratic equations, add them together, so we can take out 3 times alpha plus beta, minus 2 minus 2 is equal to minus 4. So, sub 2 back, negative 5 over 3 times 3 is equal to negative 5, negative 5 times negative 4, as minus 4 is equal to negative 9. Same idea, point of what? Simplify it, which is equal to 17. The required equations x squared minus sum of what? x plus part of what? Remember, simplify it, which is equal to x squared plus 9x plus 17. This is the end of this video. This is also the last video for chapter 3.